We'd like to say thank you to all of our speakers who have joined us for Women's History Month this year. Today, we're rounding up the series with an interview with Manisha Shah, the chair of Wikimedia UK's board. Hello, everyone. My name is Manisha Shah. I'm chair of Wikimedia UK. My background is media. I specialize in the commercial uh, rights and exploitation of intellectual property, so television content across television, radio, and digital media. For many years, I have now worked as a uh, non exec director on the boards of various commercial as well as charity organizations, most of which specialize in arts or media or education. Um, I'm delighted to be chair of Wikimedia UK, which is a which is which is doing some wonderful work on supporting digital literacy and knowledge equity. What many people don't know is that women only make up 19% of biographies on English Wikipedia, and women of colour are even fewer. Wikipedia's um, gender discrepancy is well documented. We had a study in 2011 which showed that less than 10% of Wikipedia's contributors identify as female. More recent research, um, so in 2013, um, Benjamin Mako Hill pointed to the fact that only 16% globally and 22% in the US um, of all contributors were women. The data, well, we have very little data on women who might who identify as trans or non-binary editors. This data is virtually non-existent. That is a big problem because while the reasons for the gender gap may be many, uh, may be debatable, may be rational, the practical effect of this disparity is not. Gaps in participation create gaps in content. Does you want me to do that? So we have been thinking critically about the gender gap on Wikimedia projects for a number of years. Being an encyclopedia gives Wikipedia an authority and with its readership spanning the globe, it's essential that people and subjects from all areas and all diversities are represented. With the lack of representation and a lack of, so with the lack of representation, there's a risk that we perpetuate dominant forms of knowledge and dominant perspectives. And while we do tackle many aspects of inequality in our projects, the gender gap has become a major focus for us. I'm delighted to draw your attention to the many events that Wikimedia UK has run throughout March for Women's History Month with the help of many collaborating and partner organisations. To give you some examples, we ran a wiki workshop with the British Library's Eccles Centre and the University of Leeds to make Black women in 20th century theatre more visible on wiki projects. We wanted to expand and amplify the knowledge um, that was produced by and about Black women and about gender, feminism and the arts on Wikipedia. At that wiki editing workshop, participants received training on creating and editing wiki pages to communicate the central role played by Black women in British theatre making between 1900 and 1950. Women like Una Marson and Pauline Enriquez. They were also invited to explore resources that can better enable citation um, for women of colour uh, and greater access to archive collections documenting Black British histories. It's really crucial, I think, for us to continue to have an intersectional approach to our gender gap work with women of colour well represented in these activities. 
Another example um, is our collaboration with the David Livingston Museum. Um, the David, David Livingston birthplace is the only independent museum in Scotland that is dedicated to preserving the legacy of David Livingston and examines his work within the complex and painful realities of slavery, colonialism, 19th century European attitudes towards African people and community groups. Our Scotland um, coordinator was very glad to join staff and volunteers at the museum for a hybrid editathon, which focused on the women connected to David Livingston and continuing work on articles that we had worked on at Wikip Wikimedia at our last event. The in-person event was based in the museum and our, our work list was drawn up by museum staff using their subject knowledge, as well as resources from the museum and elsewhere. So the editor saw uh, one and a half thousand words added, added to Wikipedia and 14 references, 14 new references, I should say. So one of the one of the projects that I personally benefited from was part of the National Lottery funded Digital Skills for Heritage initiative where Wikimedia UK run webinars to showcase what Wikibase platforms and digital skills can offer organizations in a glam heritage context. Uh, so this is the Connected Heritage team and they hosted a potluck for International Women's Day. And participants learned Wikipedia basics and made their first edits and I was one of those participants. In addition, the event allowed us all to see how a Wikithon is run, how it could work uh, for different organizations in different contexts, and how we could best support the growth of open knowledge. Ideally, participants brought uh, an idea or a topic or a theme that they wanted to work on, and as the date um, was close to International Women's Day, we encouraged everyone, everyone was encouraged to bring projects relating to women. We also did a workshop with protests and suffragettes and Women's History Scotland to celebrate International Women's Day and the theme of hashtag break the bias, adding and improving entries for Scottish suffragettes on Wikipedia. We've collaborated with um, suffragettes and protests and suffragettes for quite some time, actually. They're a creative project led by a wonderful team of dynamic, diverse, um, a, uh, sorry. We've collaborated with protests and suffragettes for quite some time. They're a creative project led by a wonderful team of dynamic and diverse artists, activists, and local historians, working to recover and revoice the histories of um, women activists in Glasgow and across Scotland. They create art walks and public art and creative intervention in the public realm, while also conducting archival research and recording oral histories. They work with Wikipedia as knowledge activists. Women's History Scotland is a new partner for us. They've been working with protests and suffragettes, and this is the first in a series of events that we will be doing with them. The event itself saw nearly four and a half thousand words added to 16 Wikipedia articles and 92 new references. The gender gap is, of course, not just an issue for women to tackle. Many of our project leads on gender gap projects and events are men, such as Ewan McAndrew, the Wikimedian in, resident, in residence at the University of Edinburgh, who has a long-standing series of editathons for women in red. We interviewed Ewan and some of the students involved in these projects as part of the series which if you haven't seen, I would very much encourage you to watch. Our gender gap work doesn't end when March does. It's a year round effort, which we hope to inspire editors to get involved in and to enable people who would like to edit the skills to do so. If you wish to support 
the work of Wikimedia UK, do visit our website and connect with us on the variety of social media channels, including LinkedIn and Twitter. Thanks very much.